Hey, what's up guys? MGH here and welcome back to another episode of my Arsenal career mode. And at the very end of the last episode, we were looking at the table. So here we are again. We are top by basically one goal. I'm going to win this game against Roma, right? I'm going to beat them on Legendary because that's what I've been playing on lately. And we are going to top Group C and hopefully get someone who isn't as good in the knockout stages. So here we go. We're away in Rome. We've just seen Man City in real life win their 2-0 can I match that? I bloody think so. So let's go ahead and select the team. I'm going to go in my yellow kit. I think that'll look best there. So in terms of my team, what do I want to do here? I want as strong as I can. So Sanchez, I'm afraid, has to be dropped. Uh, I'm going to go with Oxlade Chamberlain, of course, there. He just seems to be the best backup option. And I think the rest of the team is absolutely fine. Look at Lloris, 92 overall. Just ridiculous. But everyone's in good form here, except from Oxlade Chamberlain. So hopefully I can fix that. Um, I could actually play Aurier up there. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I know Aurier plays as a right mid, but playing up there, he, he's, he's absolutely fine at it, trust me. And at right back, I'm going to go with Debussy. Why not? So it's not the biggest game ever because, well, we've qualified already. But as mentioned before, I would like to win this because then obviously we do finish top. So this is the team they're putting out. They've obviously got Javinho, the ex-Arsenal player. Uh, it's a strong team. It really is a very strong team. But uh, at the Emirates, we managed to pull off a draw. But I'm looking to go one step further in this game and get a win. Here's Javinho. His first touch of the ball. That's a nice pass. De Rossi plays it back. Slide in. No, that was a bit late there. Not a bad cross at all here. He's kept it in. Gibbs, get it out. Right, we've conceded a corner. Six minutes in, guys. Not the best start. But that's all right. There's still loads of the game left. Nangolan's going to whip this one in. But I'm going to head it out, right? Ibrahimovic is going to head this one out. No, it's going to be Gibbs. Get it out, right? That's not a good header. No, not Rossi. No, no. Eight minutes in and we've conceded already. That is ridiculous. That clearance was rubbish from Gibbs. I should have got more power on that. Very good turn from Rossi and it's a, it's a good finish. Six goals in the group stages. That's just incredible. Right. Focus, Matt. Get back in this. No. Get away from my house. Oh, for God's sake. What is this? There we go. Oh, we've lost it again. They're just passing it around me. It's like they're toying with me. Oh, thank you. Thank you for going wide, though. Oh, my God. That was dirty. Surely. Can't believe that. Go on, Gibbs. Oh, he's still going. Ibra, hit it. What? How? No, the ref's had enough. 1 0 down. We've got to score two goals in this second half. I feel like Ozil's just being drowned out in this game. So I'm actually going to bring on Wilshire and push Ramsey forward. I've just got a feeling that that might help things out a little bit, have a bit more strength there. Because Ramsey, don't get me wrong, he's not massively strong, but he's, he's better than Ozil in terms of pushing people off the ball. And keeping the ball. It's Royce again. Let's go out on the left side this time. I just know I'm not going to get tackled. So I can just keep going. Good cross. Go on. Come on, Ibra. Hit it. Yes. We've finally done it. And it's Ibrahimovic makes up for that terrible miss in the first half. That arguably was a harder chance. He's had to turn. And he's whipped it in. He hasn't even gone for full power. He's just whipped it. That is a mean strike there from Ibra. And we find ourselves in back in the game here. one all. Oh. Oh, my God. Go on, son. Oh, Diego Alves. And that's it. That was a very quick five minutes. But anyway, guys, unfortunately, we couldn't get the win. Well, guys, there you can see after that game, we've got Porto and Roma have Chelsea. So I think that means we did finish top and we got the easier team now don't get me wrong Porto are still a very very good team but when you look along the sides there you know some of the teams we could have got <laughs> I'm very fortunate to have Porto because they're not the strongest there that's for sure so now guys in the next game we have Fulham at home and once again I am going to go and simulate this match they're in 15th and obviously we want to be focusing on the Champions League this season so what I'm going to do is select my second team and go ahead and see if we can get a win I mean obviously my team is stronger than theirs and it should be another easy win. If this was an away match, I'd of course play it because I don't want to lose the games. Look at that Chambers with a yellow card already. But Oxlade Chamberlain makes it 1-0 after eight minutes. Are we going to have any more goals in the first half? Wilshire with a yellow card there. Come on, give us another goal before half time. 
Damn it, no, right, we're into the second half. Nabry comes on, he's on loan, of course. Zarate has made it 1-0. No. No, please, give me the win. Come on. Yes, well, Beck. Good man, there we go. We get the 2-1 victory. We have a game against freaking Stoke. Hate Stoke so much. <laughs> they beat us in real life, although we came back in the second half and did okay, but it was one of the worst matches I've ever experienced as an Arsenal fan, so... Hopefully I can do better than that. A cold, wet night in Stoke, quite literally, again. We always seem to play them in the winter, don't we? Oh shit, they're through. Oh, Nautovic almost made it 1-0. To Ibra. Oh. oh, it's still going. Oh, that would have been amazing. Yes, look at that. Royce is going to make it. Chip him. Go on. Oh, that would have been majestic. Oh, how I would have loved to seen that go in. There's the end of the first half. God, I hate Stoke. They're so, so difficult to play against on this game. And in real life, clearly. So, maybe it's just uh, Arsenal's bogey team. I think that's definitely what it is. Oh, I don't remember Ibra getting a yellow card. What is that? Honestly. Right, come on. Second half. Let's get serious here. We need to win this game. Stoke have a corner. Bojan's coming on as well. But they've got some big guys in there. Right, that is an atrocious corner. But even worse... Oh my god, that was an even worse clearance. Oh, what a turn by Bojan, but Loris makes a great save. It's another corner. They've got some absolute monsters in there. Look at the size of them. Right, get that one out. That's good. Come on. Come on, Royce. Oh, what a save, but I'm still there. Come on. Come on. No, Begovic again. I think that's it. They're just going to keep the ball now. Waste a bit of time. Well, fair play to Stoke. My god, they were difficult to play against. But 0-0, it's not the worst result ever. I mean, look at that. What a boring game. I'm going to use my second team against Southampton, who are, I think it's ninth in the league. They've lost their last two games, so their morale will be low. Should be able to pounce on them and beat them at home. Loads of changes, but still no goals. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, we're back in it straight away. one all now. Come on. Welbeck's going to score now. God damn it. Another game. We've dropped points, but we're still massively ahead in the league at the moment above Chelsea. So look at that. Still five points ahead. And now Kieran Gibbs. Oh, dear. I think he's going to be angry. I think so will Chris Smalling. Let's have a look here. We've got a risk of losing two players. Debussy and Zlatan. But anyway, yeah, I think these guys are unhappy. I don't get it. I played Gibbs every single game pretty much. Here we are at Shite, <clears throat> I mean White Hart Lane, sorry. And we've got a game against our arch rivals, the North London Derby, one of the best games of the season. I would really, really like to win this game after taking two points from six in the last two matches. He was made a good run out here on the right. I'm going to hit this. Oh my God. I, I genuinely thought that went in then. <laughs> that would have been unbelievable. No. No, no, no. Poor defending. Oh, he's hit the post. Was it Soldado is what it was, wasn't it? Oh, man. That is just, just justice luck, you know, against Arsenal as well. And that is a foul. Rabio's there. I'm going to give that to Ozil. Into Ibra. Back to Ozil. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. Ibra with the absolutely pearl of a pass. That didn't even make sense, but holy crap. Was it the Hocus Pocus shit? Let's have a look. Oh, oh, I just jizzed. Come on, ref. Just end this first half. Let's get into the second one. Blow the whistle. Actually, hang on. No, don't. I might get another attack here. Nope. Okay, you're going to blow the whistle. Fair enough. Yeah, keep going. There we go. He's through. Across on the ground. Yes. No, I didn't go for it. He just stood there. Oh, dear. Tottenham have pushed their men forward. And now they're loose at the back a little bit. Here goes Alexis. You ain't stopping him. Come on, finish that. Oh, Vaughan with a great save. He's lost the ball though. He didn't know where it went. Where am I going to go with this? Oh, still going. Oh, it's come off the bar. I think it deflected. That is so unfortunate. And that is it. Game over. I'm sorry, Tottenham, but I've just taken three points off you and probably deserved something out of the game. But what can I say? It's another great victory. Good game by Ozil. Great game by Ibra. 
To be honest, everyone performed pretty well today, so I'm happy with that. Definitely signing Debussy up for another year. Um... Because I don't, I don't want to lose him just in case, for whatever reason, I want to come back to the Arsenal career mode at some point. So I'm going to offer him, yeah, I'm going to offer him the extra year. Obviously going to give him important first team player. I've done the same with Ibrahimovic, I've given him the extra year. Um, but obviously at the end of this season, I'm pretty much moving on. And as you can see, there is still a five point gap between us and Chelsea. We've still only lost one game so far, so pretty amazing form. And um, it looks as if I'm able to, to sim quite a lot of games towards the end of the season, if they're home matches at least, and still have a great chance of winning the league. But anyway, let's take a look at when our first Champions League game is against Porto. Should be in January. Yes, it is in... Oh, it's February, sorry. So we've got to get through a lot, a lot of these uh, Premier League games throughout the window, and then we'll be there. Really excited to play that, and hopefully we'll progress into the final of the Champions League and win it. That'd be absolutely amazing. So thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying it and I will see you in the next episode.